Okay, so what I'm going to go through now is how to set up an Alarm S1616 controller in Alarm. You start by adding a Zoom controller in. Down the list we find the Alarm S1616A. Hit OK. And there we go, we've got the controller. The S1616 is VNet based, so it'll either need to be connected to a VNet communication device on an SC controller, or an HC controller, or it'll need to be connected to a VNet SC1 serial to VNet adapter if you're using an SC series controller. <coughs> First thing to remember is if you're using multiple uh, S1616 chassis, that the chassis actually needs to have an address set in the firmware of the chassis. This is done on the front panel of the S1616 chassis. For this example, we're just going to use one unit. Um, sources and zones, and um, the S16 is a 16 mono by 16 mono zone controller and can be configured in any combination of stereo and mono. So what that means is, um, the default configuration is 16 mono sources with 8 zones. We can change that, so say we want this unit to be 8 by 8 stereo. We change the number of sources to 8, and you can see the source list shrinks down. For every source then, we get the option of adding in um, channels to match it, so it's not like an off-the-shelf zone controller. Source 1 is not input 1, source 1 could be input 15 and 16. Uh, if it's a mono source, it can be any one of the 16 inputs in the back. If it's a stereo source, it also has the option of being optical. and The optical takes over ports 1 and 2 or port 9 and 10, and this is marked on the back of the S16 chassis. So, very simple setup will be to make it a stereo 8x8 chassis, in which case we make these sources like this, and make them all. So source 1 becomes the first two inputs, source 2 becomes the second inputs, etc, etc, all the way down to the rest of the list. And then under under zones, we have the same option. We can create as many zones as we want, well, up to 16. So we could have one zone being all 16 speakers. We could have 16 zones being one speaker per zone, or a combination in the middle. Um, the zones can have as many speakers as you want, uh, permitting on the chassis. So you're not limited to two speakers or two speaker power outputs. So again, let's set this up for um, let's set this up for stereo mode. So what we've got here is we've got a configuration menu. So if I go to outputs, like what I can do now is I can label output one and kitchen. These are the speakers we've connected to output one. You can see there it's got the actual output and then what we do is we assign a zone to it. So there we go. I've labelled for my notes that speaker terminals 1 and 2 are connected to the kitchen zone and that I want the kitchen zone to be zone 1. So we call that zone 1 kitchen there. And there we go. So zone where terminals 1 and 2 have been connected to speaker kitchen. They've been connected to this, the zone kitchen and then we get to set whether they're left, right or mono. Mono will be used if you're doing a long hallway, um, like 3, 5, 7, or even number of speakers down a, down a long corridor. You don't want to have left and right. You can just make them all mono. In this case, we're going to go left and right. And then one of them becomes a master, and then we've got a dB decrease on the, uh, on the slave speaker, if you like. Just do that for the rest of the zones, uh, rest of the speakers on the S16, and we've got a complete zone controller. After that, sources work as they do in any other zone controller, and zones are set up exactly the same way with display, slave zones, etc, etc, power on, volume and whatnot there. So it's pretty much the same setup after that, it's just to get your head around the variable zone and source configuration of the S16 because it is a mono unit, <coughs> and it's your choice to pair up how the unit actually behaves. That's it, and thanks for watching.